Step 11. In this step, we will check if transcription factors, microRNAs, and epigenetic regulators are regulating the stemness genes. Step 11a. We begin by loading ChIP-seq data into the Galaxy ChIP-seq pipeline. In genome space, check the box next to the file SRR502406, fastq.gz. Click the Galaxy icon in the toolbar followed by Launch to launch the tool on our file. Galaxy should open in a new tab with the genome space import job preloaded in the right-hand panel. Once the job has finished, click on the pen icon to edit the file attributes. In the main window under the Data Type tab, change the data type to FastQ Sanger. Click Save. Under the Attributes tab, set the Database Build parameter to Human February 2009 HG19. Click Save to update the attributes. Step 11b. Next, we map the ChIP-seq reads using Bowtie in Galaxy. In the left-hand Tools panel, click NGS Mapping, and then choose Map with Bowtie for Illumina. Set the Select a Reference Genome parameter to Human Homo sapiens B37HG19 Canonical. Set the Bowtie Settings to Use parameter to Full Parameter List. Additional parameters should be available. Scroll down to see them. Set the Maximum Permitted Total of Quality Values at Mismatched Read Positions parameter to 40. Set the Number of Mismatches for SOAP Light Alignment Policy parameter to 2. Set the Suppress All Alignments for a Read If More Than N Reportable Alignments Exist parameter to 1. Click Execute to submit the job and await its completion. Step 11c. Next, we will filter the results using SAM tools in Galaxy. In the Tools panel, click NGS SAM tools and then choose Filter SAM. By default, the Select Dataset to Filter parameter should be set to the result of your previous bowtie job. Click the Insert Flag button. Set the type parameter to the read is unmapped. Click Execute to submit the job and await its completion. Step 11D. Next, we call PEATS using the Model-Based Analysis of ChIP-Seq tool, or MAX, in Galaxy. In the Tools panel, under NGS Toolbox Beta, click NGS PEAT Calling, and then choose MAX. By default, the ChIP-Seq tag file parameter should be set to the result of your previous SAM job. Set the Select the Regions with M-Fold parameter to 10. Click Execute to submit the job and await its completion. Step 11e. Next, we will send the resulting bed file back to genome space. In the Tools panel, click Send Data, and then choose Genome Space Exporter. Set the Send This Dataset to Genome Space parameter to the bed file outputted by your previous Max job. 
click the plus sign next to Choose Target Directory. Select the Genome Space directory in which to save the file. Give the file a name, such as srr502406.bed. Click Execute to submit the job and await its completion. Return to Genome Space and click the directory to refresh it and view your file. Step 11F. Next, we obtain a gene set of transcription factor target motifs and microRNA target motifs from MCDB. Click the MCDB icon in the Genome Space toolbar to open the tool. Click the Downloads tab. Scroll down through the table to find the Motif Gene Sets, C3 Collection. Click the C3 All V4.0 Symbols.gmt link. Click Save to download the Gene Sets to your local machine. Return to your Genome Space homepage. Click and drag the downloaded GMT file from your local file browser to your Genome Space directory. Right-click the newly uploaded C3 file and choose Convert. Ensure that you are converting to GeneSet.tab and click Convert on Server. Once the conversion has finished, a new GeneSet.tab file with the same prefix name should appear in your folder. Step 11G. Finally, we perform a multidimensional gene set enrichment analysis of the Stemnus gene list against the gene sets from MCDB using the Analyze Gene Sets function in Genomica. In Genome Space, check the box next to the file Breast Tumor Gene EXP Preprocessed Collapsed.tab. Click the Genomica icon in the toolbar followed by Launch to launch the tool on our file. A JNLP file will be downloaded to your local machine. Click Save. Open the downloaded JNLP file to launch the Genomica application. Genomica should load the expression file as a green and red heat map. Under the Sets menu, choose Load Gene Sets from Genome Space File. Navigate through your Genome Space user directory to the file stemnusgeneset.tab. Click the file and then Select. Again, under the Sets menu, choose Load Gene Sets from Genome Space File. Navigate through your Genome Space user directory to the file c 3 all v 40 symbols gene tab Click the file and then select. Under the Analyze menu, choose Gene Sets. Under the Sets to Analyze tab in the dialog box, set the Input Gene Sets parameter to your Stemnus Gene Set file. Open the Sets to Find Enrichment for tab. Set the Gene Sets to Find Enrichment for parameter to your C3 file. Click Analyze. A table of enrichment results should appear.